Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for whenever it resonates. There's no timing on these. Ah, two fell out, so we're going to take them. So what do we have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Ooh. Goldfish, increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. Kangaroo, unsettled times, need to plan ahead. So you need to plan ahead, um, but there is going to be an increase in material health or wealth, same thing, or spiritual growth. But there's some sort of unsettled time. So you, there's a, you need to come up with some sort of plan. You know, you need to come up with some sort of plan um, in regards to your wealth. You need to come up with a plan, then you need to take action on that plan. Um, you may be feeling a little unsettled. Things are going to get better by the looks of things because I think you're going to plan something. I think that you're going to plan something and it's going to increase your abundance, okay? So what do we have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? There is going to be a, an increase. That's money going downhill okay so that's why you need to plan ahead you know that that's that's like the start stock market going down or your revenue going down or your money going down or something like that okay but that's why there's unsettledness because oh I gotta show you what's on the bottom okay so you know you you uh, right now if you make a plan you gotta make the plan okay nobody's gonna make it for you all right, you got to make the plan and you got to take action on that plan. And then you will see an increase in your wealth. Jackpot. Jackpot. That is a win. That is money. That is that is a lot, okay? That's a lot of wealth. That is getting some sort of jackpot, right? So you want the jackpot? You want the win? You want the money? You want the increase? Well, <laughs> you're going to have to do something about it. All right, so there's something that you need to do. It comes with planning, okay? You need to take action on some sort of plan that you have probably been thinking about, but you haven't done it yet. As soon as you do it, you will start to see an increase. I'm, I'm sure of it. So what do we have for Leo? What do we have? What do we have for Leo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. You know, what I see is a lack of commitment. If you don't commit yourself to it, then you're not going to, you're going to see a decrease. Commitment is a big deal, okay? If you want to see an increase in that money or you want to see an increase in your wealth, you've got to commit to it, okay? It's going to take commitment. You are not alone. You are not alone. We are here for you. We never left. Through all the sadness and loneliness, however, you cannot sense us near you or feel how much love we are sending you. We are your family, friends, and guides. You never walk alone. We walk right beside you. So there's somebody walking right beside you that has passed away, you know, that, you know, or it's a spirit guide or something. You're not alone. Maybe you need to talk to them. You need to ask them for help. You need to have a conversation. They're listening. Maybe they're waiting for you to ask, or maybe they're waiting for you to listen to them. You're not alone, though. There's some sort of guide around you that, and it's not in the physical form, okay? This is, a, this is an energy. This is an energy that is around you, um, that is guiding you, but you may not be listening. So pay attention. Pay attention to the signs. Maybe you need to take a time out to start listening and really, like, have a conversation with whoever this guide is that is right beside you, okay? Somebody is right beside you. Um, what do we have for Leo? Oh, I just cut the deck to the Ace of Pentacles, which is a golden opportunity. This is something permanent, something solid, something real. This is something you manifested. This is a yes answer. This is a new investment, a windfall, money, a gift, something you can touch, something you can take to the bank, long-term 
uh, permanent. Okay, this is something that is permanent. It's above you though. You haven't grabbed onto it yet. You haven't gotten it yet because you have to do something first. So Ace of Pentacles is an opportunity of a lifetime. It is a golden opportunity. Find for financial stability, okay? So there is some sort of financial stability that is right in your reach, okay? It's in your, it's right there, okay? You can see it, but you have to grab for it. You have to reach for it. So you're going to have to reach for it. It's just the way it goes. Commit yourself to it. It feels, and the reason I said lack of commitment, because I saw the Page of Pentacles reversed. The Page of Pentacles reversed is somebody that's not taking the steps. It's laziness. No offense or anything. I mean, I'm going to tell you how it is. The Page of Pentacles reversed is, oh, I don't really want to put in the effort. You know, I don't have the focus. I've lost my focus. I don't really, it's going to be work and I don't want to do the work. Well, if you don't want to do the work, then fuck your bank account. What do we got for Leo? Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands. Overwhelmed. Burdened. Uh, too much. Trying to do too much. This person has dropped the wands, though. Uh, not carrying not carrying the weight. Reached a breaking point. The Hermit reversed. Midlife crisis, some sort of midlife crisis. Hangman. Five of Wands reversed. Uh, hermit reversed. Hangman thinking a lot, doing a lot of thinking, introspection, a lot of introspection going on here. It's time to socialize. It's time to reconnect. It's time to open up. It's time to come out of hiding. Stop hiding yourself. Stop Stop letting fear get in the way. I feel like you're, you're holding on to something that... Uh, maybe there's some sort of competition around you. You're worried about the competition. You're worried about what other people are going to say. Just do it. Just do it. I feel like you have some sort of plan. You've been thinking about something. You know what you need to do. But for some reason, you're not doing it because maybe uh, you're worried. It feels like there's worry here. Worried about the competition. Worried about whether you will succeed. If you you got to have faith. You gotta have faith. If you don't have faith, then, you know, to hell with it. Anyhow, I do believe that um, the Hermit Reverse, that is, it's time. There's some sort of loneliness here as well. There's loneliness. There's like exile, you know, isolation. It's time to come out, come out of hiding. Stop hiding yourself. Uh, open up. Um, five of Wands reversed. Six of Cups reversed. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Five of Cups. Grieving over a loss. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Uh, that's bad business. Marrying for money. Uh, financial ruin. Financial loss because of uh, com competition. Do not let the competition run over you. I mean, if you want the competition to win or do you want to win? Anyhow, I think that there's a lot of memories from your past that are holding you back. There's burdens of the past. You're, you're carrying some burdens of the past. I'm not sure if you dealt with somebody that put you down in the past that made you feel like you couldn't do it. You can do it. You can do it. They may make you feel that you, somebody made you feel like you weren't good enough. Uh, bullshit. Anyhow, uh, Ten of Pentacles reversed is financial ruin, financial loss. It's a bad business or an unhealthy relationship or something like that. Uh, Six of Cups reverse is clinging to the past. Every, nothing stays the same. It's time to let go of the past. Stop holding on to the past. Stop holding on to the memories. I feel like you're holding on to some baggage from the past. You know, some baggage from the past is affecting your ability to... Uh, have success in some way. Something about innocence here. You know, there's a, it's like something about innocence, a robbing of innocence. Hangman is a new perspective is needed. You need to have a new perspective. Do not continue to repeat your mistakes of the past as well. There's something about a home here or 
you know, uh, a foundation that, you know, wasn't very comfortable. There was a lot of fighting. I don't know if you were in a, in a home or a relationship or a family situation where there was a lot of fighting and a lot of belittling and a lot of bickering, you know, um, which has affected you now. The hermit reverse is a need to reconnect, a need to socialize, come out of hiding, put yourself out there, stop worrying about it. Don't let the baggage and the worries of whatever happened in the past, it's not, you know, hold you back. It's something about self-worth here as well. Um, grieving, we have five of cups, which is grieving over a loss, mourning a loss. There's another opportunity for you. I don't know if there's going to be a change, you know, Ten of Pentacles reverse could have to do with uh, family uh, legacy, could be the end of a family legacy. You may be experiencing uh, some sort of loss. There could be some tears that are happening in the next couple of weeks. I don't know why I feel that way because I have the Five of Cups and I have the Six of Cups reversed. I feel like there could be some tears that are shed, crying, mourning over a loss. Could be a family member, you know, maybe you're reminiscing about a loss or a relationship or something that is holding you back. I do feel like uh, you're going to need to take a time out. I think that you need some time to re-identify yourself in some way. Do not let your past define you. Okay, do not let your past define you. You know, that's not who you are. That, that's your, your experience that have brought you to this place. But now you're a different person, right? You're you. You're not them. You're not that, whatever the case is. I feel like you have this thought, you know, that, you know, you have to prove yourself. You have to prove yourself. And I don't know, maybe it's because of your parents or your family or something like that. You know, sometimes when we have an absent mother or an absent father, or we grew up in a home where there's a lot of bickering, which I see bickering or fighting or whatever, it affects our self-worth, it affects our self-value. And we carry that baggage with us into you know, our life. You need to let go of that baggage. Drop that baggage. Drop that burden. Show yourself. Do not hide your face. You are worthy. Whatever that means. I For some reason, I need to tell you this. Anyhow, um, there, I mean, when you get the five of cups, it's like you're missing an opportunity. You're, because you see, hold on, I need to get that to focus. Maybe. Maybe not. There we go. You see, there's a there's an opportunity right there that is being missed because right here, because because somebody is focusing on a loss, they're focusing on something that is gone. It's gone. Okay. It's, when you have those cups that are spilled over, any, anything that was in those cups is gone. It's gone. Stop focusing on that. If it's over, it's over. You know, you have another opportunity here. You're missing an opportunity for a partnership or a union or love or whatever the heck it is. You're missing an opportunity by focusing on something that happened that is gone. Okay, it's gone. So I feel like you uh, need to look in a different direction. You need to look up. You need to stand up. You need to uh, stop crying over the loss, whatever the loss is. And I know it's it's not it's easier said than done. Okay, I feel like there's nothing stays the same. Nothing stays the same. I also feel like we have somebody here whose innocence was robbed. You know, their innocence was robbed. And innocence can be, you know, from their f something to do with the family parents, uh, something like that. Um, and I feel like there's some sort of, uh, I don't know if it's self punishment or punishment because hey man can represent punishment. <laughs> it's time for you to look at things from a new perspective. There is a change that is coming. I feel like you are going to be released from this burden. There's a burden or baggage that you have been carrying. All you have to do is look up and go in a different direction. Anyhow, um, page of cups reversed and the fool on the bottom. So the fool is a new beginning. It's starting from scratch, starting over, stepping forward in faith. Okay, so this is, it's time. It's time for you to step into unknown territory with faith. Take a risk. You need, there's something that you have been thinking about doing that, uh, 
I think that you've been afraid to do. This is this is actually exciting. I think you have an exciting new opportunity waiting for you to just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Um, I see you starting over. I see you starting a new journey. Um, probably leaving something behind because the fool leaves all the baggage behind, only takes a little bit with them. You know, whatever he can fit in his bag, he or she, it's, it just takes a little bag, okay? I'm not just the experiences. I'm not taking all that shit with me. I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it behind. You need to leave the past behind. You need to leave something behind, okay? There could also be uh, children here, something to do with children, children and parents, some sort of neglect. I think there's a neglect between a, a parent and a child here which I think I've already mentioned a couple of times in other words, I think you need to let that go. I think you need to let that go. I see you starting over from scratch. Some of you are going to be relocating. Um, I think that you, you um, need time. You probably need time to heal. I think you've been healing, but I don't think you're fully healed yet. I think you're going to have plenty of time to think about something. Um, Somebody could be letting you go as well. I think there's some sort of lesson that is being learned. I think it's being learned right now, okay? And I think you've been learning it for quite some time. I think we have a very stubborn individual here who has been reluctant to change. Uh, this person hasn't been very enlightened. They've been fighting themselves, you know, fighting change. And I feel like we have an unstable situation here that is falling apart. Um, there could be a relocation. There could even be a child that is leaving home. I'm not sure how that resonates with you, but I think we have a child here that is leaving. Um, it's kind of sad. Uh, I don't know if there's some sort of child abuse with the Six of Cups reverse next to the F Page of Cups reverse. Maybe you were abused as a child or your innocence was robbed or there's some sort of child abuse here that is going to be dealt with. Okay, maybe it's time to deal with it. Maybe it's time for you to deal with it, um, to release it, to uh, move on. I do believe there's a release here because with this Ten of Wands, usually the Ten of Wands is carrying all the wands. This is dropping it. Something is, is being released it's being let go um i do think it has to do between a parent between a parent and a child there's something between a parent and a child here that needs to be let go and because it's not healthy it's not serving you there's a lot of uh there's a lot of games that were played there was there was a lot of fighting a lot of bickering a lot of uh uh instability and insecurity and uh, there's about to be a change, I think, and I think that you're going to be stepping into unknown territory by yourself. I see a lot of self here. The fool is self, the hermit is self, and the hangman is self. So this is you doing something by yourself, you know, starting a new journey by yourself, letting something go that, you know, you aren't supposed to be carrying anymore, okay? You're not going to be carrying this anymore. I see this is a... Uh, I don't know if there's a rejection here as well. Maybe you were rejected by your father or your parents or something like that, which has affected your your life. Page of Cups reversed is not good news, unfortunately. It's sad. There's a lack of emotional growth. Uh, emotional shutdown tears. I really feel like there's some tears being shed. Maybe there's memories of the past that you're experiencing this week or whatever it is. You know, a lot of memories are coming up for you and you are if you're thinking about your parents, you're thinking about your family, you're thinking about your children and that's something that you are releasing this week. Um, I do see gaining a new perspective and having time, taking time to think about things and struggling to let go, really, really struggling. Maybe you need to forgive somebody. Maybe it's your father. Anyhow, I do see you starting over, starting from scratch, um, stepping into unknown territory with that fool card. Doing something impulsive, taking a risk. Three of Swords. Well, I'm sorry. This is heartache. It is. It's heart pain. It's suffering. Um, it's. It is a heartbreaking separation. 
it is. This is a heartbreaking separation. So I'm not sure if you are going to be experiencing a separation this week that brings about some tears, some sadness. Um, if that is the case, you will need time. You will need some time. We have temperance on the bottom, which is uh, evolution. It's evolution. It's a need to accept. It comes after death. Okay, so I'm, I'm wondering if there's an ending here. It does appear that there is. The first card out is a 10, which is a completion. So I think that you have a completion in your life. It may have to do with a family member. Okay, this is heartbreaking. It's a heartbreaking, I feel like it's a loss. It's a separation that you're going to be, either you're remembering it. You know, a lot of memories are coming to the surface. And you need to deal with those memories. Or you are experiencing the heartbreaking separation in the next week or two um i feel like there's tears there's sadness there's loss and um you're gonna need you're gonna need time to go within and uh heal because temperance is a card of healing accepting and allowing this is a card of evolution it is a card of patience and purpose blending to create harmony accepting what has ended this is yeah you're gonna this is going to be a time of acceptance and healing over a separation where i feel like you were disrespected you were disrespected you were robbed in some way and there's a lot i feel like there's animosity here and you need to heal from it and you and there's something that you need to do that you have been thinking about doing but because of all of this neglect or abuse or whatever that it's held you back from doing it okay so i feel like you need to master your emotions for sure you're going to need to and i think that you're going to be dealing with some struggles you may want to even isolate yourself during this time because something is really uh hurting you that three of swords is pain it is pain Queen of Wands reversed. Okay. So that is lack of self-confidence, lack of self-worth, no, no ambition, no drive, no desire, uh, lack of strength, feeling vulnerable, feeling weak, um, not feeling good. Uh, you could also be dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, I feel, I feel like we got judgment now. Judgment is passing judgment, ready to be judged. There could be some legal issues that are popping up even this week. This is, this is karma. Um, it is the end of things. This is the end of things. Judgment is being passed. This is card of forgiveness. So I'm wondering if you need to forgive. There is, there is some sort of forgiveness here. A need to release and accept and allow it's time for a change. You have something better with the temperance card. Something is ending or it has ending and ended and you need to accept it. And that's going to be, there's some sort of pain here. Heartache, suffering, pain, mourning, grieving over a loss. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Could be dealing with a family member. I feel like this is a family member um could be dealing with a Sagittarius as well um or a Pisces Cancer Scorpio it doesn't really matter you could have been hurt by anybody could have been a Libra Gemini Aquarius it doesn't really matter anyhow Taurus Virgo Capricorn they're all here anyway I do believe that we have an unstable um family life that has affected you in a very big way and you need to release it and this is a week where you're going to be dealing with the pain that that has caused. You are not alone. They are here to guide you. Good luck. <laughs>